What's up guys? So I'm back in a place in my house that you guys have not seen me in in a while. And that's because I haven't really been in here in a while. <laughs> but it's sister day and therefore I am in the kitchen because I'm going to be mixing up some cocktails for our sister day. My little sister is picking up crab boils from a place called Crab Kings in Kansas City. So we don't have to cook any food. I'm just making us a mixture of fun drinks for today's sister day. So I went to Walmart and I bought these glasses. They're called new glasses. They're shatterproof wine glasses, which are pretty cute. I got four um, and I love that they're plastic because you know, fun times get a little ratty. Um, so I got these glasses, which I'm gonna clean and wash. I also bought some coffee, which is not for today and also rice that's so not for today. We'll just ignore that. Um, I bought some strawberries because I am gonna make some mimosas and I bought lemons and limes because I'm also making pineapple mojitos. These bananas are for hubby. I'm basically just getting really creative and having fun because I don't actually have to cook and I'm so not used to us all getting together and not having to cook. So I was like, I should do something fun. And of course we were like, let's do mimosas because that's pretty much what we almost do. But then I was like, we should do something a little more fun, a little more festive. So I'm gonna try to make these pineapple mojitos. I'm following a recipe on YouTube, but then I'm also going to make some lavender lemonade, which I've made before and I've also made a TikTok about it. It's very, very tasty. So I'm just gonna let you guys see how I put all these little drinks together. So let's get to some bartending. Favorite sparkling wine. This one's from Trader Joe's and I like it a lot. And then you guys know my best friend got me the Black Crow Magic Sparkling Brute for Valentine's Day. And I've been saving it for a special occasion and my husband's like, what's more special than your sisters coming together? And he's right. So I um, got these two bottles plus our drink mixes. I think we're gonna be ready to go. We're gonna have a good time. Guys, guess who's here? Two hours late. They're here. You know that that's how we work. That's how we operate. That's what I told them. I was like, they're not gonna be on time, so I might as well start getting some work done, take a nap, etc., etc. But they're here. Okay, there's Bree. There's Keisha. And you guys met Ebby last week. She's not looking at the camera again. There she is. <laughs> what do we get to eat? Let me say that. I'm 
hungry. Oh, and Evie brought Stella Rosa Golden Peach. I can't wait to try Interesting. Black is my jam. Yeah, black is good. Uh, black. So far, everything that I've drank of theirs is and a berry been one. really good. I can't even we share what I just heard, you guys, but it was hilarious. Okay. Like, I can't even share it. But, so, so y'all really didn't hear nothing. We, was a, we had the full blown conversation. What's up, my people? <laughs> Happy Saturday. I'm at the house. So, no, I'm not down. So I'm at the house and Felicity is here. She's there. <sighs> Come on. Hi. Felicity is here visiting for a little bit because she sent me a message this morning saying she missed me and she wants to come over. So I went and picked her up. But I haven't gotten any work done and somebody did not take their nap today. <laughs> So yeah, I'm working on stuff for clients, but I wanted to show you guys some of this stuff that I'm doing because it's a really, really cold, it's rainy outside, right? I did make some soup. I made some of that Jamaican pumpkin soup that you guys have seen me make a bunch of times now. We always do it with vegetables only, and we also don't put um, the spinners in it. We just try to make it like very, very healthy. So that's on the oven right there, boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's on the oven and that's cooking and Hubby's at work right now, but he's gonna like run a quick errand and then he'll be on his way. And I think we're gonna watch a movie tonight. What do you wanna watch? Mm, the new, um, The Lost Dragon Show. Okay, I don't know what The Lost Dragon Show is, but Felicity wants to watch. Well, it's on my TV and it's about to come out soon. Okay, there you go. Um, Felicity has about 15 more minutes left of study time, so goodbye. <laughs> Um, so she didn't want to take her nap. I told her she would have to do an hour of uh, study time on her iPad, which she's not doing. <laughs> and then she's gonna bake some cookies really quick. But I wanted to show you guys a purchase that I just made. Be I was like, you know what? I think it'll satisfy me just to get like the style of bag. And I'm st I still got it in a designer, but just um, a more affordable designer. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is because it took me so long to get it, but. Finally got it yesterday. All right, I'm in my office while Felicity pretends to study for 15 more minutes. I know she's not, but anyway. Um, also trying to finish up a video for a client. So it's actually just uploading right now and then I'm gonna load it in After Effects and put some graphics on it and get this over to her. So I don't know how much longer that's gonna take, but she gets my back, so. This is what I got. I ordered it from Michael Kors. I ordered the Michael Kors Slater bum bag. This is the replica of the Louis Vuitton bum bag. Um, very similar. They're both fanny pack style bags. And I've gone into the store. You guys, I was looking at this like on my birthday last year. Like this is how much I've done the back and forth with this bag. Here she is. She's so cute, you guys. Look at her. She's really cute and she's definitely different than the bum bag, but they still have this like fanny pack kind of design. But the front of this has a zipper and that's just the tag. Let me pull this out. And another bag, but it's just got a cute like little zipper pouch in the front, which is always good whenever you're traveling if you need to access things really quickly. And then, let me unzip this part. It does have this little flap, which I don't love because it makes it hard to unzip things, but. 
let me take this tag off um so yeah so this is what it looks like once you put the the gold strap and it goes you can wear it a bunch of different ways but in my mind i'm gonna be wearing it like this or like this like very similar to the bum bag style or even over my shoulder it does have an adjustable strap so if i want to like really do it fanny pack style i can there we go that's the throwback fanny pack style <laughs> there she is you guys she's very cute i've been waiting like I could not make up my mind, but she's very cute. I'm really happy. Okay, hold on. This little purse is going to be a godsend. So, got her. Really loving her. I'm really, really excited about it. I'll do a full, like, detailed review on this bag after I've worn it a little bit, just so you guys can see. But I just wanted you to see her as I just got her. Oh, I also just got the new um, Desi's on Red probably, like, two months ago. But I don't know if I showed you guys, but... Here they are. They're pretty cute. I picked those up as well. And then I also picked up um, luggage for the bachelorette trip. So the weekender was out, but I was able to pick up the Bay's cosmetic bag. I wanted my travel to be super quick and easy when we go to Miami. And I was like, okay, we're only gonna be there like three days. So I'm not gonna overpack. Like I'm just gonna make it easy. So I'm only carrying a carry on and I just wanted it to be simple. So I ended up getting the Bay's cosmetic bag for all my goodies, but I also bought the weekender bag. So I'll just stick this, my shoes and everything into my weekender bag and put it over my shoulder and carry my fanny pack and I'll be good for the entire weekend. And then go with everything so i did pick up the cosmetic bag which is really cool you guys see this it's pretty cute it's very sustainable it stays open like this so i can find my stuff there's also a few additional pockets and then there's a pocket along the bottom as well to hold additional things so i already really love it even though i haven't had the chance to use it yet i've just been pulling it out like looking at how functional it is and i'm really excited so the actual suitcase will get here on monday and i'll show you guys that too but i've got to finish my client's video and i've got to also make sure the felicity is still out there doing her little study time so i'll be back good morning y'all it's saint patrick's day and you know your girl's favorite color is green so you know i had to go all out and my husband's like seriously what's funny is both of our favorite colors are green and he has green clothes, but I don't know if he's wearing green today or not. He tried to wear like a turquoise blue, and I was like, no, that's blue. That's not green. And I will pinch your booty <laughs> if you pull up in front of me without some green on. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to show you guys my outfit really quick. I'm actually doing um, St. Patrick's Day deliveries for um, some people at my job. So I want it to be all festive, but I'm about to head to work. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Have a seat. Hey, 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 you guys. Long time no see. I know. I know. I, I'm disappointed in myself, really. <laughs> um, but you guys, so much has been going on. Um, I think I told you before that um, I was taking over um, some additional duties at work for the next couple of months. So between my job plus taking over those additional duties, life was already nuts but then you know i have you guys and i have my ig and then i have my business and <sighs> it just it just kind of went crazy really really quickly and i was like oh i'm failing <laughs> but i'm back and i'm so happy to see you guys so i want to share a few things the first thing is that I realized that I cannot do all of this by myself and um, I enjoy it I love it I love working for my clients I love everything that I'm doing but I just can't manage a full-time job and my business at this point kind of running it full-time as well and you guys know I'm married so I got to get my husband some attention I got stuff to do so I hired someone I've Finally, I was like, you know what? I just can't do this by myself. So I hired someone. And this weekend, I'm basically doing all of her like organization stuff. So I'm actually 
um, online right now trying to get her Google Drive started and get her information about each client and just let her know like what I need her to do. Um, and that's gonna help me so much. It's gonna help my speed so much. So yeah, so basically today is gonna be all about just getting my life together. Yesterday I went and got my hair done. As y'all can see, hold on, let me turn around so y'all can see it. Like, isn't she cute? So it's another ponytail and you guys know that I got this ponytail done like maybe or like a similar ponytail done but it was a like a high ponytail done um, by the same girl Victoria Victoria's who's been doing my hair um, the past couple times I've got it done and yeah I love the ponytail we did last time and we did like a unique one but this one I wanted something like can you guys see like it's just very whimsical and I wanted a, a little low pony so you know she's giving me all the vibes right now i just i feel very cute um so got my hair done i'm feeling a little better as you guys know i go to bar every morning so my body's looking better it's spring things are looking up for your girls so <laughs> anyway saying all that to say that i'm collecting my life slowly but surely i'm just trying to get things organized but yes we're getting there so today I'm gonna be getting my new assistant done I'm gonna be writing out and organizing things in Trello because as much as I like writing things out on paper and pen you guys I have several notebooks like this that are just full of notes and it's just it's not practical to try to come back and check my notes and read on that and it's just not smart so I'm getting back on Trello with my um new assistant and I'm just getting her started and organized and like separating thing out by, things out by clients and just saying like we need this 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 and this and this and get to date so that's the goal today I got I have a vlog that needs to get up I have some graphics that need to be done and I would really love to edit some vlogs for you guys so I can see you more so anyway gonna do that I'll pop back in here or there to say hello but yeah i really missed you guys so i'm so sorry i've been gone but i'm back i'm back now <laughs> Okay, guys, so I've been shopping and I totally forgot to show you guys this. Maybe I showed it in another clip, but I've really been wanting like a bum bag style bag and I just wasn't really sure if I was going to go all the way with Louis Vuitton because I don't know. I didn't know if it was a bag that I would keep for a while and then they also had their price increase and I was just like, mm. so I ended up getting this bag from Michael Kors. It's called the Slater. It's very similar to a bum bag S bag but it's a nice like crossbody that you just put across your chest and it's easy to like carry on the go and so I was like I like this here take a look here we go you guys can see so I was like I think this is really cute and simple and this is real leather and you open it up and there's um a little zipper back there there's also a little front pocket and then there's a pocket in the very front where you can put additional items so there's lots of space in here i like it a lot and i picked up this beige bag from oh gosh i always forget but oh i got it from nordstrom i got this from nordstrom and then i also got the makeup case but this bag is also another just really functional suitcase the bottom unzips which is really nice um so you can put your shoes down here see very nice and then it's got a zipper in the back and then a few zippers in the front as well but this is like a very just like easy on the go bag there's pockets so very convenient and then there's a little slot for my computer so in my mind I feel like I'm just gonna carry this carry-on with me to the bachelorette party and I have a bet going with my husband right now because he doesn't believe that I can do it Anywho, I'm just trying to pack really lightly because I know that there's a Louis Vuitton there and I may want to bring something back. So I'm just trying to make sure I have a lot of space. <laughs> so anyway, I want to show you guys that really quick because I am trying to like just reorganize stuff and make my life more functional. I think I told you before that like when I'm purchasing, even when I'm purchasing designer items that I really love, I need them to be functional. Like right now, and I don't know if it'll ever change in life, but I'm an on-the-go girl. Like, I'm like... 
so I, as much as I love my never full it's just like it requires my hands or my arms like a little more effort than a crossbody would and therefore like it doesn't allow me to do other things like carry my computer case carry other you know what I'm saying so crossbodies are really just the jam I'm working on my Matisse you guys I'm gonna get it but it's been sold out every single time I try to get it it's gone um and they also had a price increase which slightly annoyed me so I had to like re-prepare myself again <laughs> but I really want the Matisse you guys know this it's at the top of my list I also have the YSL Lou on my list as well so I'm gonna get one of those two probably pretty soon like maybe this summer or for my birthday which is like five months away I don't know we'll see i plan on getting those two this year but for now i really like this bag it's like very easy and on the go and i think it'll be very helpful so back to work now i just want to share some of the things i've been shopping for because you guys know i be spending money i be saving money too but i be spending money <laughs> so yes all right see y'all in a minute all right y'all it's lunch time i decided to put some um what is it lobster mac and cheese in the oven that i got from aldi which was really nice and quick lunch look at her she looked delicious she looked so good um but yeah i just i had i went grocery shopping at aldi like a week or two ago and it was in the freezer section i was like this looks good and very quick and easy so i picked that up and then i'm having some mcbride sisters um black girl magic reasoning with my lunch i'm still editing for this client and probably will be all day because i have to get it done today it's kind of last minute but do when i can i just realized i didn't put any perfume on for today and i'm kind of feeling my replica jazz club so yeah she's very she's very sensual and sexy smelling let me put some on my wrist <laughs> um and i normally mix this with vanilla woods from seven virtues i think i told you guys about this before but it's like the perfect combination. It's like very sweet and smoky. It's kind of like, ooh, like draw me in. She's very, very different. But yeah, so I'm about to eat this lunch and edit at the same time because my husband gave me a really good tip for when I'm working on stuff. And um, the tip was to, whenever I write down all of my to-dos on my calendar, that I should put a time slot and like not let myself go past or like stop before that and only focus on that for that time period which is very very smart because i have a really bad habit of like being in the middle of working on something for a client and then another client will call and then i'll like oh let me fix that for them really quick and then you know and then you just you get really like discombobulated it's just not healthy so i'm about to eat this lunch real quick i'm gonna take a quick picture for the gram because y'all like to see people's food so i'm gonna take a quick picture for the gram and i'm gonna do some editing and then i have to post something for another client i'm gonna try to get it up at three i think that's what's on my list yeah i might have to move the schedule back a little bit but i'm gonna try to get this video done by three it's Okay, I know I'm looking a little crazy, but I'm just now getting done with some client work. And it's Sunday, by the way. Happy Sunday. <laughs> um, and Hubby and I are going out to do a photo shoot because I need photos. But my photographer is actually out of town this week. And I really want to photograph this ponytail. And by the time she gets back, I feel like it just won't be together. So I'm going to get some quick makeup on. And we're going to go do a photo shoot and then have a really nice lunch. And kind of discuss some business plans that we've had kind of come up and some things so it'll be a good Sunday I'm ready to eat something really tasty I know the time does not stand still can see the We're dressed and ready to rock. I can't lie, I do like a good sleep back every now and then. 
I really love this whole situation. There's Bay over there, AKA photographer. He's gonna get me right today. Chef. I appreciate it. And then we're gonna go eat. I'm trying to figure out where we're going, but like I want pasta or pizza, so. Basically, I feel like I'm like scarfing food down. It may just be like the activity that I have, but I'd be scarfing food down, so I'm hungry, so. We're gonna see. I would go to Old Chicago because my husband loves Chicago style pizza, but Old Chicago doesn't have Chicago style pizza. the weekend finally officially and I have a photo shoot today so um, a couple weeks ago a company reached out to me about modeling for a bridal group um, and a makeup group and like it's basically like a shopping plaza and they're doing like a photo shoot so they reached out to me um, I agreed and that photo shoot is today I'm a little nervous as you can see I'm bare faced so somebody else is gonna be doing my makeup today and I'm not gonna front I, I don't know how I feel about it I just you guys know I used to do makeup I still kind of do makeup I'm very very particular and um, I think when you work in an industry you're just a lot more sensitive to things so I'm like I know how I run my business and I know how people that I've worked with run but like people that I don't know and I can't like vet their work and I can't see what they're capable of it just really makes me nervous to put myself in their hands okay just because I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna pack my edge tamer my brush and then some more shea butter and then I'm going to pack my Tom Ford Solo Blanc because it's a nice shimmering oil. This is really close to what I'm probably going to pack for the bachelorette trip in a couple weeks. Which is good because I need practice because my husband keeps trying to play me. He thinks I can't only take one suitcase, but I'm going to show him. Um, is that everything? Okay, so I think this is it. This is basically what I'm packing with me to Miami for um, Maria's Bachelorette. I bought this bag specifically for that travel. It's the Bays bag, which is very cute. It opens really nice. And then the makeup bag. And then I got this crossbody bag from Michael Kors, which is just going to be like my own the go bag while I'm there. So I feel like I feel like I'm only packing that big bag and my crossbody bag for this trip my husband doesn't think i can do it but i think i can i feel like if i wear sweats there like comfortable relaxed warm stuff on the plane like a probably like a cardigan and like a pants situation with sandals and then um i wear that same set there and back i'm good there and if i get cold i already have like a little sweater probably like this and then i'm gonna pack my silk dresses like my long flowy comfortable dresses bikinis and really that's it i'm gonna try not to pack anything heavy one pair of sandals one pair of heels like all my makeup stuff under one ounce this can be done y'all 
it can be done and I'm, I'm going to do it and do it well um, I also decided to schedule a photo shoot with one of my new clients she's based in Miami she's a photographer there and so I messaged her and I'm like hey girl like what are you gonna be doing on this date because I might as well come and you know bask in your services and so we're setting it up right now but I'm gonna do a photo shoot while I'm there too I'll tell all you guys all about this stuff and fill you in it's not till next month so we got a little bit of time but I probably need to get my life together so let me just make sure everything else is packed and then let's head to the photo shoot So I just um, finished the photo shoot and I'm on my way to work but I'm probably gonna wash my face before I go they be looking at me like what's happening here okay like why why are you arriving with a full beat you never wear makeup so I'm probably gonna wash I might not even have time darn it I might just have to work it we'll see but anyway I just got done with the shoot and um, Catherine was so sweet and everyone else was really sweet and I think the shoot went good so we have one more photo shoot and that's my shoot with Grace tomorrow morning and then I'm done with this ponytail I am y'all like the ponytail is cute and like it's a bad ponytail okay but it's uncomfortable sleeping like it's uncomfortable sleeping it's uncomfortable work out in since I'm like on the back of my head when I'm working out and it's just like it's hard so this is coming out and I wish I wouldn't have had to put so much hairspray on it because I probably could have just worn my hair straight but I don't think that's an option at this point we're gonna see Um, 
as you guys can see, I'm shooting. Do you want me to help you film your reels? You can, girl, if you want to. Ooh. Do what? <laughs> the sun. God made so many wonderful things, but that sun. Ready? <laughs> So we're doing video. Talking but not talking. They're like, what is she doing? You have muted and put some music on it. Which is what I normally do for my mom. You guys, the sun is. Do you care if I make a like behind the scenes shoot Yeah, girl. I don't care. I don't know how we do that, but I'll just like You also need some of the clips that I took too. I feel very cute. You guys, but the lighting is so nice. And this ponytail that was done by Victoria that is a week old is still holding up and it's still fire. Like, Victoria does the thing. Y'all see my, my little curls trying to come back? She only got to make it till today, so. But I feel really good about this. Fake vlogging and filming. Okay, those are perfect. It's like they even if I just snap, they come out perfectly because you look perfect. I do like them. <laughs> okay. Feel really good about this. We're very proud of ourselves. Okay, I think you can make this little studio business. And like, have you with your phone and like peeking out of the, like peeking out of the photo booth, you know? Oh, the girl, I didn't even see that photo booth. Like in Riverdale. <laughs> I don't even I don't like look like you're getting out and like you look like this. Yeah, like that. Like that. Hold that. And look out towards the ice cream stand. And look at your phone. And look at your eyes. All your lips look good. Hold on, I'll show you the phone. with Grace. We got a lot of really good photos I'm super excited about. Let me back y'all up. Oh, mm. oh, they do that. So the ice cream cone, this cone is a waffle cone, but it's soft. It's like a, like a cake cone. And it's really good, but I can't spend my calories on that, so it was good for the photo. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is, you guys, I'm like, you know, good morning and all <coughs> dusting off the vocal cords like it's super early. It's 10.30. <laughs> but 
but my butt you guys it is what it is okay it is what it is i'm actually headed um to go see brianna um she lives a little bit away for me like 30 ish minutes so not super far but i'm gonna spend some good time with her this morning working out the financial piece of the business and also working out the like all the steps we need to take um trademarks and all that stuff we need to get through so i'm gonna go spend a couple hours with her but i just wanted to close out this vlog because i know you guys got to see behind the scenes yesterday and it was so fun and like my photographer and I, I'm just so proud of us because we kicked out over a month's worth of content and we already started working on next month's content. So I'm just like, oh. it was two hours. We got so much done. Then I went to the market afterwards and I bought like food and like just all of our market favorites. You guys know if you have a city market near you, like they just have the best, the best stuff. And it's springtime. They bring the grill out. And so it just smells good. <laughs> just you guys the market is my favorite place it is like all the vibes um but i got fruit and vegetables and then i also got us some um some jams some fresh jams and jellies i bought fresh honey or raw honey um what else did i get fresh bread i got us some fresh cookies i got a little bit of everything from my i love the market you guys got a little bit of everything and then i also bought some simple syrup um a company that i'd never seen there before but they were selling like jams and like infused butters and they even had like an alcoholic jam which i thought was pretty funny um and seasonings but they had um this really cute um section of like um infused simple syrups and so i was like that looks really good and like you know i'm all for the natural i'm all for like the homemade i'm all for like you know the smaller businesses i'm honestly i go into walmart and i buy like syrups and stuff and like it's super cheap but it's garbage to be completely honest um most of it is unhealthy and just total sugar and just yeah so i bought some of that from the market and i made a margarita last night with it it was really good so i may be elevating my simple syrup game <laughs> we'll see but i had so much fun at the market i got so much work done um i even got a reel done and i'm just now finishing some edits to a client's video so i'm uploading that to her and then i'm going to spend some time with Bree. so i just wanted to close this vlog out and say thank you guys so much for continuing to watch like i know i ghosted you guys for a little bit but it was all for good reason i'm gonna be back in stronger than ever better than ever hopefully um but I just wanted to say thank you guys for continuing to support me. I miss you so much. and I can't wait to see you in the next vlog. Make sure you comment down below and let me know if you're watching my videos for inspiration or you just like vlogs in general. You know, let me know. I'd love to know what content specifically to create for you guys. So until next time, God bless and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.